All right, so in this problem, we want to find the factored form of this polynomial. And in order to factor, we have to find the greatest common factor. So now let's start with our greatest common factor of the variable y. And the greatest common factor for the exponents will always be the lowest exponent of the original um, polynomial. So if we look at this y, our lowest exponent will be 2. Therefore, that will be the greatest common factor of the y's. And if we take a look at the x's, we have x to the power of negative 3, which is the lowest exponent. Therefore, that will be our greatest common factor. So now we have to see what we're left with inside our parentheses. And now if we take out this greatest common factor, we are left with, in our first term, 1, because we are taking out the entire term. And in our second term, it's a little bit less intuitive. So now let's take a look. If we have here y to the power of 2, because we are taking out a 2, and we multiply it by to the multiply it by y to the power of something that we don't know, let's call it a, it should equal y to the power of 4. So that means that this a acts as if we are taking y to the power of 2 plus a equals y to the power of 4. Because when we multiply 2 two exponents together, two variables together with the same base, we are adding their, their exponents. So 2 plus a should give us 4, meaning that a has to be equal to 2. So we are adding here y to the power of 2, and we have to find what our x is over here. So now we'll do the same for our x's. We have x to the negative 3 times x to the power of a that we don't know equals x to the power of 4. Now when we add the exponents, we have negative 3 plus a, which should give us x to the fourth. That means that our a should be equal to a positive 7. And now we can fill in this blank right here and say that x to the power of 7 is what we are left with. Now, if you want to make sure that you factored out correctly, you can always take this greatest common factor term that you have here and distribute it into your parentheses, and you should be ending up with the original polynomial. So if we take a look here at our factored polynomial, this is our final answer, and it matches exactly with answer A. Therefore, A will be our final answer.